One note, one note. you'll hear people like the Sharia oppresses women. What do you got to say about that? Actually, this is very illogical because if we look at the society today uh, and we walk out here in the streets of, of Chicago or New York, any city, and we look at how women are treated, they're already in a state of oppression. The way that they are dealt with by their beauty, they have to flaunt themselves and, and kind of, you know, expose themselves as something that they're not in order to gain some respect with inside the world. This in Islam is oppression. Uh, for a woman to have to live that type of way. Uh, in Islam gives women the afforded right and actually a great right that she is an individual and she is to, to be dealt with as an individual according to her intelligence, according to her personality, according to how righteous she is and she is dealt with in that manner. Nothing to do with anything that she can offer to me to look at or glare at. None of this is in Islam. This is actually a, 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 a breaking the code in Islam to, to flaunt oneself in, 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 in this type of manner. So Islam gives women do rights that we don't even find in the society we live in now. It gives them more rights. And we see who women convert to Islam, which is the majority of converts coming to Islam are women. They'll say that they feel more secure and safe now inside the religion of Islam than they ever felt out in the streets. This is amazing. It's amazing. And Islam really uplifts the woman, gives her these rights that, you know, it, it was unheard of when people were debating if a woman had, a, the church was actually debating whether the woman had a soul. Whether she had a soul or not. Wasn't it? Islam was elevating the woman to a status, rights that she just got in this country. Isn't that? And, and when actually, if, if someone was to take and look at, let's, let's take a, a scenario of men and women relationships and men and women marriages, if they were to look at the rights between men and women, uh, they would actually see that, and, and if you talk to most Muslim women, that they get the better end of the deal. In most cases, when it comes to any law, women get afforded the majority of rights, and actually men are more responsible. They don't have yeah. as many rights as they do as responsibilities, and women have a lot of the rights.